All right, ladies and gentlemen, up next in pair number four on the inner from BC, it's Nick Goplin. And on the outer from Ontario, Rob Watson, coming up next. So Nick Goplin, he's from uh, uh, Kelowna. Yeah, born in Saskatoon, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Right, yeah. from the yeah. legendary Goplin family. Uh, that's right, <laughs> yeah. Moved to Kelowna at about the age of eight. They've got a good club there now, led by uh, Mom Nancy. <laughs> They've got a good team there. And Rob Watson, he's from Ontario. He trains a lot in, in uh, well, he's trained in Calgary for quite a bit, but originally from Ontario. Goplin and Watson underway. Nick Goplin opens fast in 1920. 1965 for Rob Watson, that's the second fastest opener of the day. Yeah, he had, uh, Nick had to give up long track for quite a few years when they moved to Kelowna because they didn't have uh, the long track. Right. So then he came to Calgary at the age of 16 to pursue it again and go to the National Sports School. And that's a great resource here in Calgary. Yeah. First lap times, 30.29 for Nick and 30.67 for Rob. And those are some pretty speedy lap times. Fastest of the day so far. Just a reminder, we have nine pairs of men here this afternoon, and this is pair number four, and only one position available for Canada's men for the 5,000 meter in Sochi. Nick Golan with a 30.31, 31.69 for Rob Watson. So Nick Golan going hard here early but looking smooth and relaxed. Nice. Well, we'll just have to hope that he didn't dial it too fast to start with, but that's, that's the trick with these 5,000s and 10,000s. If you start off too fast, you're in deep trouble, but you don't know it till later. Nick Ogle with a 3101 and a 3150 for Rob Watson. And they are in first and second spot quite handily at this point in the race compared to Donnelly and Derry and the company. And the girl and the company. Goblin looking relaxed. 30.81, he's right around the 31 mark. And Rob Watson, 31.86. Rob, uh, Sean Rod only started uh, speed skating at the age of 14. Wow. At the Clarington Speed Skating Club. Oh, another Clarington yeah. skater. Good. Well, that just goes to show you can get into the sport relatively late in the game and make an impact. Nick Goplin, 31 21. And Rob Watson, 32 30. So Rob Watson, right on about the pace of uh, Donnelly right now. And Nick Goplin with about a five second lead at this point in the race. But of course, Francois Derry with a great pacing for his last race. He will be the man to beat here at this stage. Nick Goplin, 31.92. And Rob Watson, 33.59. Up next, by the way, in pair number five, we'll have Elliot Nelson and Troy Henry. Five laps to go. Nick Noblin, 32-52. And Rob Watson, 34-15. Now, Loretta, I seem to recall that Rob Watson was quite uh, quite good in short track as well. Exactly. He had, he had quite a career there. Short trackers tend to make some nice transitions to long track frequently, and Rob Watson being a good example. Nick Goplin, lap time 32-91. Rob 
Watson. 34-94. So Rob Watson right, right around uh, Daniel Dubois' pace right now. And Nick Copeland slightly ahead of Donnelly and Darien. Can I tell you Rob's personal best in this? Nick Copeland, 33.97. It's looking like that starting pace might have been a bit rich for Nick. <laughs> Rob Watson, 34.13. Yeah, now they're going about the same pace. So uh, Rob's personal PI, personal PB, sorry, personal best in the 5,640 here in Calgary in March of this year. Oh, okay, good. Rob seems to be having a steadier race here. Nick Copeland, 34.98. And Rob Watson, whose personal best is about 6.40. Uh, 34.56, so he's settling down his times here, Rob Watson is. Nick Copeland a little bit behind Darien Donnelly's pace at this point. And one lap to go now for Nick Copeland. 35-29 is his lap time. He's just behind Donnelly's pace at this stage, and Rob Watson with a 34-65. That was a good one for him. Rob Watson chasing down Daniel Dubois' time. See if he can get on the leaderboard here. And rounding the final corners now, here comes Nick Copeland. And Nick Copeland will finish in 650.31. And that puts him in the second spot, just ahead of Donnelly. And here comes Rob Watson. Final time for him, 658.67. And he does make it onto the leaderboard, just behind Dubreuil.